Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I uh, just wanted to make a, a video showing you guys the latest Uber driver app as of April 2022. So let's get right to it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so and please go ahead and like and share my videos it really helps out thank you so when you open up the app this is the screen that you see because i have not driven in a while uh, some of my documents have expired and i need to renew them such as my background check right here um, so uh, we will, uh, you know, ignore that. So we're just going to get to the the app. So I'm going to tap on the top left corner of the screen, the menu. At the top, you see my name and my rating. Then we have the inbox, which is uh, messages from Uber uh, about Quest and how much, you know, uh, how you can earn more money and so on and so forth and you can tap on a message and it gives you the details uh, for it we're gonna go back refer friends is uh, you know you you can actually refer people to drive for uber and when they complete a certain number of trips and for every city it's different uh, you can make money from that as, as you can see for la it's 750 for a new user uh, that completes 200 trips um, and you can share your link and social media or on messages or, or, or whatnot and if you tap on status these are the people that um, completed uh, my invitation so there's a, there's a few of them and I got paid a total of 450 uh, for uh, after they completed their their trips and then there's unable to proceed there's a lot of people just tried to sign up but they didn't complete the process and so that's that opportunities is basically another place where you will see uh, quests and promotions on how to make more money um, and these are all those right here uh, on a, you know you can select by days but happen on these things right here. And then go to earnings. This is where you see all the money that you've made. And since I haven't driven in a, in a, in a long time, it, it, uh, it shows me zero. This is where you would also cash out. If you, uh, if you had money in there, you would just tap on cash out to cash out uh, directly into your uh, bank account. And then we have Uber Pro. This is basically a way to, to uh, it's Uber Rewards. So the more you drive, the more points you accumulate. And based on those points, you get certain benefits. Um, so as an Uber Pro, which is the first level, you get all of these things. Um, 24 hours, 24-7 uh, roadside assistance, 25% off car maintenance so on and so forth and then as you uh, go up uh, in levels uh, you get even more uh, benefits as you can see gold has all of these platinum diamond and diamond is the, is the the topmost level so that's the uber rewards program and then we have the wallet this is basically where it'll show you you know your balance um, that you've earned your payment methods and uh, so on and so forth and, th and this is another place where you can cash out which is grayed out right now right here and, uh, and then we finally we have the account where you have vehicles on the top uh, you have your documents, uh, your driver's license and, uh, you know, background check and all of that stuff. 
payment is also a place where you put in your banking information and and things of that nature. Tax info, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's where you would put your social security number and uh, things of that nature. Plus card is basically just a, an Uber a card that they give you like a, um, it's like a debit card that you can use to uh, cash out to and you can use that card you know uh, as a debit card we have the edit info you can change your information here uh, start places are basically like if uh, if you had added certain spots um, that you could uh, you know um, use as a destination filter in your destination filter and stuff beacon is is basically a device where you um you might have seen on the windscreens they have like an uber logo that's glowing uh that's basically what this beacon is and it changes colors based on the status of the of the ride and then we have insurance about it's just a version number insurance it explains to you the insurance coverage you get as a an uber driver and have security and privacy uh, is where you can activate the two-step verification and then we have the app settings this is where you can tap on the volumes you can set the volumes and stuff like trip alert volume as max or you can control with the phone um, seatbelt reminder and we have the the voice level voice navigation on or off and then uh, read writer messages where it will actually read out uh, the messages that you're getting from the passengers uh, we have navigation this is where you select whether you would like Google Maps or Uber navigation um, or if you have a another app such as Waze it would also show up here and then we have auto navigate setting where you can turn it on or off and accessibility is again a place where you can see um, you can screen flash for requests turn it on or off uh, vibration for requests and languages you know things of that nature and then you can let riders know if you're deaf or hard of hearing you can turn this on where it will uh, alert the passengers and then we have uh, the app language you can select whichever one you prefer night mode is automatic it's basically it will change your uh, screen mode to either night or day let's go back night mode is always on or you can do always off and it will change the contrast see you can see that it changes the contrast of the screen for night or day or you can just simply set it as automatic so it will change according to the time of day all right go back into account and then app settings and then follow my ride is actually a way that you can um, give someone a, a link to follow you for security reasons, let's say your your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, they can look at where you're going or where what your current location is. You can select from the address book or um, you can basically add contacts right here. And that will allow you to um, share your ride with people. Emergency, con emergency contacts are obviously self-explanatory they are you can select people here in case of an emergency god forbid you know those people can be contacted speed limit is 
as you're driving the app can show you your uh, your speed limit of that particular street or highway or freeway and uh, it can alert you and uh, it basically changes color as if you cross a certain speed and you can select that here and then we have emergency data sharing you can share your trip details with 911 uh, and it says you know when this is on your, your live location trip and contact details will be automatically shared with authorities if you call 911 from the driver app and it's only available in certain cities right check uh, and in the case of an unexpected event uber will initiate a right check and provide you uh, with access to relevant safety tools so that you can quickly get the help you need. So it will automatically uh, judge whether there's any trip irregularities. And um, if the trip is going somewhere where it's not supposed to go, you know, if it's going out of the way, um, you know, Uber will automatically recognize that. And um, try to you know give you alerts and help on the app and then you have crash detection um, if there is a crash they can also sense that and uh, uh, guide you through the process appropriately you also have video recording feature the, um, where you can actually register your dash cam and uh, the riders will be notified that they could be recorded when they enter your vehicle um, and and this is what the message that they will see uh, that says a driver may record trip for added safety and then you have dash cam resources where you can you you know learn more about using a dash cam with uber so that's all the app settings we're going to go back all the way to the main screen and here we will see at the top here if you tap on the money it will tell you the money that you've made and the trips you've completed that day and then you have this quest it says complete 80 more trips to make 165 dollars extra we have the uber rewards program and then on the extreme left, it will show me you the last trip that I have done and how much I made. So let's go back to the regular screen. And then we're gonna tap on the magnifying glass on the, on the top right hand corner. This is where you can select a destination. So basically this is where you select a a, a destination that is either already saved such as my home destination here it's showing the address so if i select this it's going to basically log in um, right now it's grayed out because obviously my account is not active but it will then start giving me only trips that are heading in that general direction and this is where you would set the destination filter. And that pretty much covers you guys. Um, another thing right here is this, this filter where it would show me different uh, vehicles that are added to my account. And since there is no vehicles right now, because my vehicle registration has not been updated in the Uber app, and so it's not showing me any information and this is basically when you tap on the menu icon right here it would show you basically pop up and all these other things are going to show up just messages and promotions and uh, um, things like that and when you're ready to go online when your account is active and everything is in, in place, you simply tap on this go button right here and that's when you go online. And obviously, my, I cannot go online as mentioned earlier. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.
please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video uh, with people. It really helps me out. And uh, stay safe, stay tuned, and stay healthy. Take care.